Okay, hyperthyroidism. Symptoms, causes, and treatment. Ready na kayo? Let's start! Good day again guys, this is Dr. Ivan Gudal, your internist and your endocrinologist. Here in this page and in this channel, we try to educate people regarding diabetes, thyroid, and other hormonal diseases. If you are new here guys, welcome po. And if you've been here before, thank you again for visiting our page. So marami pong nagtatanong ng topic natin regarding thyroid. So specifically ngayon, hyperthyroidism naman. Although guys, may nagawa na po ako before lecture siya, mahaba, mga 1 hour eh. Puput ko na lang po yung link dito sa description sa baba. But this video talks about ano yung mga important yung kailangan mong malaman with regards to hyperthyroidism. So, first part, ano ba yung hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroid po, ibig sabihin yung thyroid gland nyo, overactive. Overactive, which means your thyroid produces too much hormone. And what happens when you have too much thyroid hormone activity? Ayun, yung metabolism nyo po, yung nadadamay. Lahat, mabilis. Heart rate, digestion, even your mood. Doon mo pumapasok yung mga symptoms ng mga hyperthyroidism. So, common symptoms ng hyperthyroidism, guys. Imagine na lang, sabi ko po kanina, hyperactive. Masyadong mapilis ang metabolism mo. Ibig sabihin, kahit naka upo ka lang ng ganto, para kang tumatakbo, para kang nag exercise So, mga symptoms nun, palpitations, sweating, kahit na nakaupo ka, minsan nanginginig po yung kamay at pumapayat ka kahit na kumakain ka ng maayos. So, syempre, mabilis din ko yung metabolism mo. Diarrhea is one of those symptoms as well. Isa mo na yung anxiety, irritability, at hirap matulog. Sa mga kababaihan po natin, yes, irregular menses can be a symptom of hyperthyroidism as well as yung hair thinning natin. So, in short, guys, maraming symptoms yung hyperthyroid. Although, hindi mo naman kailangan merong kalahat nitong mga to, but a few of them is important para malaman baka nga naman meron ka. Pagkabog ng dibdib, palpitations, pagpapayat mo, kahit na kumakain ka na maayos, and yung panginginig. So, bantayan nyo po ang mga sarili ninyo kung meron kang mga ganto. Kailangan mo na siguro magpa-check out. So, Doc, what's the cause of hyperthyroidism? Most common cause po ng hyperthyroidism yung itiatawag natin Graves' disease. Autoimmune disorder po siya. Ibig sabihin, yung sarili mong cells, tinitrigger niya yung iba mong cells para magkaroon ng ibang function. And this function, yun nga, overactivity na inyong thyroid hormones. But, marami rin causes ng hyperthyroidism. Andun yung toxic nodular or multinodular goiter. Ibig sabihin, yung bukol sa inyong thyroid nagpuproduce ng extra hormones. Andun din po yung thyroiditis. Be it acute, subacute, or viral thyroiditis, or isama mo na yung Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Itong mga to, temporarily kung minsan nagkakaroon ng hyperactive or hyperthyroid phase. And last, sa mga most common causes ng hyperthyroidism, too much intake of iodine or too much intake of your levothyroxine. O ayan guys, ha, may topic rin tayo regarding levothyroxine. Ililink po na rin po yung description sa baba or dito sa taas natin. But in general guys, maraming causes of hyperthyroidism, trabaho na ng inyong doktor ano yung rason kung bakit kayo nagkakaroon ng ganyan. So, nalaman mo naman na ikaw ay may hyperthyroidism, paano ito nadadiagnose? So, as doctors usually request thyroid blood test, ultrasound, and radio iodine uptake scan. These three modalities will help us determine kung ano nga ba yung cause or causes ng inyong hyperthyroidism. Anyway, ang kailangan yung malaman with regards to your thyroid blood test, dapat mababa ang iyong TSH and mataas si FT4 and FT3. Kailangan tugma yung itsura nila. Again, mababa si TSH, mataas si FT4 and FT3. Pag may mga abnormality dito sa mga to, syempre, yung doktor nyo na lang po ang mag-i-interpret nun. But combining these three tests nga, dun namin malalaman as endocrinologist kung ano yung pinakarason ng inyong hyperthyroid. And what are the treatment options of your hyperthyroidism? Again, tatlo rin itong mga to. Medications, radioactive iodine therapy or yung opera po. Sa medications po, usually dalawa lang yan. PTU or metimazole or tiamazole sa mga bagong guidelines. Same lang po yun. Nag-iba lang sila ng pangalan. But unfortunately, itong dalawa lang po sa ngayon yung mga usual binibigay po namin gamot sa hyperthyroid. Kapag hindi ka gumagaling sa gamot, minsan dun po namin ina-advise yung radioactive iodine therapy. Iba yun guys sa chemotherapy ha. Yung RAI or yung radioactive iodine therapy para may capsule lang po or syrup inumin mo para mag- tunaw ng inyong thyroid para hindi ka na sana magiging hyperthyroid either normal or hypo ka na and last but not the least yung surgery po pag hindi ka gumagaling dun sa medication or nag radioactive ka na hindi rin gumagaling dun usually namin ino-offer yung surgery ayo nga pala kapag meron ka rin bukol mas maganda usually ng surgery para dalawa na yung magagamot sa'yo yung hyperthyroid mo and yung bukol again etong tatlo na to tinitingnan namin as doctor ano yung mas bagay dun sa 
kaso mo. Kaya dapat pinag-uusapan yung dalawa ng inyong doktor ano yung mas maganda specifically for you guys. So, alam mo na nga na may hyperthyroid ka, yung cause ng inyong hyperthyroid and ano yung treatment modality na dapat binibigay sa'yo. Here are just some reminders para mas mapadali and mas gumaling kaagad ang inyong hyperthyroid. Number one, stick to your thyroid schedule blood test. Kasi importante po sa amin yung trends. Ano ba yung thyroid blood test mo one month ago, to two months ago, to three months ago. Hindi lang kung ano yung thyroid blood test mo ngayon. Doon kasi namin tinitignan kung epekting ba yung gamot. Nandun ka ba sa face ng hyperthyroidism or bumababa ka na doon sa hypothyroid face. Kaya kailangan pag sinabi po ng doktor nyo na sana magpa-check up ka ng at least 1 month or 3 months or 6 months kapag stable na, please, please, please my dear patients, balik po kayo sa tamang schedule. Number 2, if you are pregnant, mas kailangan mas madalas ang check up. Usually, sinasabi po namin every month yan kasi syempre special case of pregnancy kayo, kailangan mas mabantayan hindi lang ikaw, pati syempre si baby. And last but not the least, yung inyong food intake. Katulad nga ng sabi ko kanina, too much iodine or yung too much levothyroxine can be a cause of your hyperthyroidism. So, kailangan babantayan mo rin ano yung mga bawal or mas maganda mong kainin for your case ng hyperthyroid. Oh guys, ito bonus kapag okay na yung pakiramdamin nyo. Dahil sa gamot, dapat hindi nyo po ititigil yung gamot biglaan. Kami po as endocrinologist, dahan-dahan po namin tong ina-adjust. Kasi kung minsan, pag biglaan mong pinigil yung gamot, dahil okay na ako doki, eh. wala na akong nararamdaman ng pagkabog ng dibdib, tumaba na ako. Minsan, pumabalik po ka agad yung hyperthyroid. Doon tayo po, pasok na sa dapat at least regular follow-up. O again guys ha, hindi porket okay na pakiramdam nyo, ititigil nyo na yung gamot ninyo sa hyperthyroid. Always check with your doctor. Oh, yun guys, hyperthyroidism is manageable. With proper treatment, you can still live a normal healthy life. Kailangan lang, syempre, medyo mag-medications muna kayo. And of course, syempre, follow up with your doctor. Oh guys, if you think you learned something new, please like, share, and subscribe po para mas marami tayong matulungan. And if may questions po kayo, please comment nyo lang sa baba. We'll try to answer them as much as we can. Malay mo, ikaw yung next na ma-post natin sa ating Doc Ivan Answers. O ba masasagot namin yung tanong mo through a video. Okay, I think that's it. This has been Dr. Ivan Kodal, your internist and your endocrinologist, signing out.